There are over a 150 different types of arthritis, with the two most common types being osteoarthritis, and the other, rheumatoid arthritis. Once the disease develops, it tends to be one of those chronic illnesses that will persist, for the rest of the patient's life. By definition, arthritis is described as, inflammation in your joints. However, the way the joints are affected can vary to some degree, depending on what type of arthritis you have. For example, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease, whereby the immune system turns on itself and attacks the joints. The type of arthritis most people think of, is osteoarthritis, a condition affecting the joints by deterioration, when we get older, or sometimes it can be result of repeated trauma or an injury to an area. This happens because the cartilage surrounding the joint begins breaking down, and wearing away over time. Without the cartilage as a cushion for the joints, they will rub together, which then results in pain. A lot of arthritic patients will commonly have pain in one or more of the large weight-bearing joints, such as their hips, knees or ankles. The types of symptoms you have will help identify the type of arthritis you have. Symptoms such as stiffness in the joints when first arising, are important diagnostic clues in determining what form of arthritis you may have, such as osteoarthritis, gouty arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis to name a few. Blood tests will also be performed to help pinpoint the disease. Most people have come to accept arthritis as just a normal part of the aging process. But, sometimes the pain from this disease can become quite unbearable. As a result, they will be looking for a way to find relief. Doctors will offer you a wide variety of synthetic drugs, which may ease the pain, and also bring with them a wide assortment of possible side effects. Some of these side effects can be crippling or even deadly. Remember, the Vioxx scandal? As a result, more and more people are looking for alternative treatments, to help ease the pain, and hopefully, not riddled with dangerous side effects. Fortunately for arthritis sufferers, new research has now shown other very effective methods of not only relieving the pain of arthritis, but also the ability to rebuild the affected joints. This good news couldn't have come at a better time, as arthritis symptoms, particularly those of osteoarthritis, has risen greatly in the last 10 to 20 years. This data indicates arthritis has become one of the nation's most common health problems. Did you know there are hundreds of diseases and ailments, which don't have to be treated with drugs, no matter how much the big pharmaceutical companies try to make you think drugs are better and more powerful than home remedies? In many cases, there are natural remedies that could be used to treat diseases. You see the truth is, the pharmaceutical companies don't make money from plant-based treatments, because where there is no patent, there is no money. They are only interested in making money, not what's best for you. In reality, there are hundreds of tried and true remedies available, at little or no cost to you, which these companies are trying to substitute with prescription drugs and medicines. When a new synthetic drug is discovered, it's only tested for a few years before it's released. Many natural remedies have been used for hundreds of years, long before prescription drugs. Arthritis doesn't just affect one's health. It can also affect your lifestyle. The medical expenditures, for just one person due to lost wages, medical treatments, and other related expenses, can amount to over $150,000 in the course of their lifetime. Early diagnosis and treatment is essential in treating arthritis, and this can be particularly true of rheumatoid arthritis, as it can destroy joints, unless effective treatment is administered in a timely manner. While there is no cure for arthritis, there are traditional and alternative treatments, which can bring relief for your arthritis pain. The many different available pain relief treatments are as varied as the types of pain from which people suffer. Perhaps you're reading this report because you don't want to rely on trying to cure yourself with chemicals, which can sometimes do more harm than good. Perhaps your prescription drugs are too expensive for your budget. Or maybe, you're just intrigued with the prospect of natural and herbal remedies for your arthritis pain relief. Regardless of why you are interested in using natural therapy, you may benefit health-wise, as well as financially. In this special report, we're going to discuss some of the natural arthritis treatments available, that you may not be aware of. Popular alternative natural treatments for arthritis may include trying different supplements, physical therapy, or other holistic forms of medicine.